Hello, it's Roger Ewald with your Grown-Up's Guide to Financial Enlightenment. Let's hack our way together through the jargon jungle and jettison all the rubbish news that's been dumped on us and get to the truth. Are we on the right course now? People are asking. I ran a poll this week, as I said I would. We polled some 1,300 individuals in the UK, and we asked the question, at this juncture, do you believe, do you feel that our government and our politicians, and we then gave two options. The first option was, are beginning to restore stability? And the second option was, don't have a ruddy clue. And I'm afraid to report that it was 29% for stability and 71% for not having a ruddy clue. So that isn't very good news, doesn't bespeak a great deal of confidence in our existing new government, uh, the loyal opposition, or our politicians generally. What does that mean for us? What does that mean for the British consumer in particular? Well, I believe that um, I can make several predictions. I think that inflation, as I've been saying for a long time, being cost push inflation in the UK, not like the States, in other words, being non-consumer demand driven inflation, uh, we aren't overspending, we're cutting back. Millions of people are choosing, as they say, between heating and eating. That type of inflation, that cost push inflation, tends to just run itself out by itself. Interest rates cuts, interest rate cuts don't happen as, as, as you can see, as has been the case. It hasn't abated in, in inflation and it hasn't protected the dollar, uh, the pound against the dollar, which is the other argument. Uh, so sooner or later, it will peter out, it will run itself out, inflation will go down. And the uh, consequence of that, I predict, as always, will be that interest rates will start to ease. They won't go back to the low levels they've been at for some years, but they will certainly ease and make mortgages and credit card and other debt uh, less expensive than it is now. Um, house prices will not fall off the cliff that many, so many are predicting. I think there will be a dip and they will then come back to their uh, uh, previous level of gradual increases, sometimes even spurts of increases. This because demand is so great. There is such a pent up demand and that has really been uh, exacerbated by people holding back from purchasing during recent times. And of course, all the house sales uh, that fell through uh, following the disastrous uh, Liz uh, Truss uh, quasi Quartang uh, mini budget. Um, I think that unemployment figures, w figures will probably remain uh, at their current low levels and the job market will, will pretty much remain uh, unchanged. I think that all of this will happen by itself with much government inter without much government intervention. I, I think the government will, of course, uh, make its usual efforts to do things. There will be a lot of uh, legislation passed, a lot of legislation opposed by uh, the opposition, a lot of a lot of arguing and back and forth, and a, a lot of noise, really. But uh, my prediction is that I don't think we will see much actually come out of this government before the next election, uh, whenever that will be. Basically, I think that all of these things where we will get back to a much greater measure of stability and prosperity will occur through uh, what one might call natural causes, natural forces. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Roger and out.